Hi everybody, this is Warren from the Rhapsody Piano Studio. I want to welcome you to today's live lesson. Today, we're gonna to be working on Blue Rondo a la Turk. This is from the Simply Brubeck book. If I find a single version of this, a single sheet music version of this, I'll make sure to include that in the cards and also in the video description below. You'll find links there. And I'll, I'll also leave the uh, links to the video tutorial for this. I'm gonna give you the basic game plan uh, the most efficient plan on practicing um, this song. And once you get these principles, you pretty much use the same idea for anything that you practice, all right? Let me check the sound. Okay, that's my voice. All right, here we go. Blue Rondo, all a Turk. Uh, last thing, uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell. Make sure you get all the reminders of when these lessons and my piano tutorials come out. All right. Right. Hello, Mate Latte. <laughs> I love that name, man. Uh, so, one couple things before we start. Um, you got, you definitely got to look at the key signature for this song, okay? Because it's in nine eight. And if this is your introduction to easy music, this might be beyond the scope of, you know, everything that I, that I can teach you. Um, so you might wait till you become a little bit more advanced. But nine eight basically means there are going to be nine eight. Eighth notes, not nine eight, but nine eighth notes within every measure. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got it? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sounds really odd, all right? So it's like, you know, like, uh, probably like a Dave Brubrick thing too. He also has another song called Take Five where it's in five beats. So it's gonna feel a little bit odd if you're not used to playing this type of music, okay? All right, let me just do the right hand first. All right, now when you play that last three note set, you see where we have two beats, like two notes, two notes, and the last one, these are the last three, one, two, three. May, just be very careful not to play that like a triplet because that, that will not be correct, all right? All right, anyway, we'll try it together. Ready, go. Now on the left hand. Now when I get to this note, the last quarter notes and all these measures, it's gonna be dotted quarter notes. So it's gonna be three, uh, three, what was it, one and a half beats. Another way to think about it is three eighth notes. So I'll just play that last, um, those last three eighth notes so you can kind of hear how that goes with the left hand. So that's like precisely about one eighth note longer, okay? So here's the left hand. Okay, and then in measure four we have three dotted quarter notes. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like the right, right hand. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and that's, that's gonna be the basic idea of this entire song, okay? All right, left hand together now, ready, go. Yeah, really hard to count. Okay, let's do both hands. Okay, do it together much slower, ready, go. Now, from measures four <clears throat> to measures four to eight, I'm gonna skip this entire section because it's the same, exact same thing. So it's just like that beginning, uh, what we just did twice, all right? So you're gonna skip, again, measures, not four, but measure five, which is five to measure eight. We're gonna skip that entire section. Here's measure nine. So it's the same, Rhythmic pattern, the rhythm is exactly the same, okay? The notes, the only thing different are the notes. Here's the right hand. Okay, 
Let's do that together. Ready. This is measures nine to uh, thirteen. All right. We're good. ready. Go. Okay. Here's the left hand. We didn't do that. All right, left hand together now. Ready, go. Okay, back to both hands. Okay, let's try that together. Ready, go. Okay, next part. Just playing through it. It's exactly the same. So now we skip the next section to measure 17. Now let me do that again. Yeah, we got a little page turn here. Okay. <laughs> just that. Anyway, so uh, let me just do measures. Measure 17 to 18, 19, 20. Measure 17 to 20. Here's this, here's this section again. Then I'm gonna do it again. That's fingering is really awkward. I don't know if I like that, but anyway. Okay, all right. Let's do the right hand. Okay, together now, ready, go. Okay, left hand, ready. All right, let's just try first. Let me play first. Okay, together now, ready, go. Back to both hands. Okay, together now, ready, go. Sorry, okay. Uh, so far, the rhythm that one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. That rhythm is so far is the exact same thing. The only thing is changing are your notes. So if you can get the rhythm down pat, then you pretty much have like, I think at least 60% of the song learned. And it's just a matter of getting the, the notes, okay? All right, I'm looking at the next page, 21 to 24. It's gonna be another skip because it's exactly the same again. Okay, let me play for you. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Okay, now we're gonna go for measure 25. <laughs> okay, now here's the right hand. Uh, so it's gonna do this like umpa 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 thing, right? So left, right, left, right, left, right, like that in the right hand. So. Yeah, so I just wanted to type that beat so you could hear that because it's a rest. It's hard to count without it, you know? So let me, let me do it without counting the, like, giving you that little tap. It's a lot harder to feel the beat when there's a rest, so I like to just tap it. More for you guys, okay? All right, let's do that together, right hand. Um, by the way, these are thirds. One, two, three notes apart. That's what we call them, thirds. These might take some practice. Uh, let me show you how to practice um, measure 28. 
So I'm like even, I'm really, really dividing that up, right? So, and I stop right there, then I go right there, and so on, until you can smoothly do everything. Yeah, because these thirds are actually, you know, I, it doesn't look like I'm having trouble with it. I'm really not, but it's not. It's not easy, okay? So just, just thirds, you're gonna have to practice a lot. Okay, all right, here's the right hand again. Ready, go, oh, sorry, uh, this is measure 25 to 28. Ready, go. Okay, left hand, we don't really need to practice that. You just gotta get the rhythm again, left hand. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Don't make me play that, <laughs> it's just a bunch of A's. Okay, let's do both hands again, give it a listen. Okay, together now, ready, go. Okay, now we're at measure 29. a bit different. Here's the right hand. But the rhythm is exactly the same. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. It's the same thing, right? Right hand. Here we go. Ready, go. Okay, now the left hand, this part is going to take a lot more practice. Look at that. Chromatics all the way down, then 31. Okay, so it's more dominant in the right hand. The left hand has more, more of the meat of this part, I guess if you could say it that way. All right, 29, here we go. Let's try it together. Ready, go. Okay, back to both hands. Let's do that together. Ready, go. Okay, measure 33. Okay, right hand. Let's do that together. Ready, go. Okay, back to the left hand. A little jump here. Easy way to practice the jumps, you move fast, you play slow. Until you get muscle memory, okay? Here we go. Let's do it together now. Ready, go. Sorry, I missed a note there. Okay. All right, I'm about to wrap this lesson up. We got some, we got like half a page left here. Before I finish, I just want to ask you guys, if you have enjoyed this video, if you've been learning something from this lesson, go ahead, hit that subscribe button as, well, I'm not subscribed, but like, <laughs> like video, just subscribe too, don't forget about that. Uh, but like this video if you've enjoyed it, all right? And if you know anyone who loves ba Dave Brubeck, loves jazz, and wants to play this on piano, go ahead and share this video with them as well. Thanks in advance for you guys' help. Okay, there's both hands from 33. Man, so much fun to play, okay? Ready, go. So that was just two measures, um, but there's a reason I'm going to stop there, all right? It's more 
thirds. Okay, let's do that together. Ready, go. Okay, left hand. Okay, let's do it together. Ready, go. Okay, back to both. Together now, ready, go. Okay, so the reason I stopped there is because there's a there's a, a change in the meter, which is the, the, the time, all right? So now instead of nine eighth notes, we're just, it, it, it's more simplified. So it's gonna be three quarter notes every measure or six eighth notes every measure, okay? So instead of going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three. It's like a waltz. One, two, three. So from here on out, well, actually, the last two measures, it changes again, but I'll explain when we get there, right? So three beats, pretty standard, from 39 to 42, okay? Okay. It's funny, because you're so used to that rhythm in the beginning. When you go back to standard tempo, this feels, this feels weird now. <laughs> okay, all right. anyway, here's the right, uh, right hand. Okay, you're gonna do that a lot slower. You might need to practice a lot slower on this with those with those uh, thirds, like really. Uh, so you start slow and slowly build up your speed. Okay, thirty nine. Ready, go. Okay, left hand. I tell you, it just sounds like a waltz, right? Ready, go. Okay, I should make that third beat longer. Sorry about that. Okay, back to both hands. Uh, let me see what I'm doing that. Uh, I don't think I did that right. Oops, all right, I totally messed up right there, so I'm not even doing the rhythm right. Let's go back over that again, so. Sorry, I wasn't reading those as triplets actually. Okay, so forget what I just did. Let, let's start over from scratch. Measure 39, here's how it goes. It goes a lot, those, those thirds go a lot faster than what I played, okay? 39, ready, go. Okay, hope that made sense. Okay, now we'll do both hands. Together now, ready, go. Okay. All right, now the reason I stopped at 42 is because now we're in 4-4. Four, four. Now we have four beats per measure, four quarter notes. Instead of 39 to 41, that was three quarter notes. Now we just have four beats every measure, four quarter notes. So it just goes one, two, three, four. Standard, okay? All right. However, the right hand. Sorry. Well, that's weird. It's triplets all the way down. All right. Now, if we're looking at the first set, it goes into a uh, natural right away. That could be kind of tricky. You're doing this triplet. See that? And then it just keeps. That pattern keeps going down. Okay? All right, let's do that together. Very slowly. Left hand. Let's do both hands because it's just E and A. Might as well. Okay, let's do that together now. Ready, go. Okay. All right, guys, that is it for today's lesson. Um, once again, just a reminder that the rhythm for this one is, is pretty tricky, especially if you're just, uh, if you're not as experienced as piano. Um, this is easy piano, but the rhythm definitely is not easy at all. So give it, give it some time. If you're not used to rhythms like this, and you study a lot of jazz, you might be more used to it, but the rhythm is going to be a challenge. And if it's not a challenge for you, well then guess what? I guess you're lucky, good job, okay? 
So, you know, just, just keep practicing and let the rhythm come along with the ride naturally, okay? All right. Thanks for joining me today's lesson, guys. Really appreciate your time. I hope you guys are having a really great, what day is it today? Wednesday. <laughs> All right. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you guys for the next piano lesson. And happy practicing.